My name is Mandana Abishamian, and my research was done on complementary and alternative medicine and chronic illness in patients. Introduction. Complementary and alternative medicine has become progressively common. What is CAMP therapy? CAMP treatment therapy includes treatments such as biological energy fields, relaxation therapy with um, magnetic clearing, liver drain, and chakra connection. Patients who chose CAM therapy are usually discon uh, discontented with conventional treatments due to ineffective therapy or unpleasant side effects, or it's too costly. So conventional treatments are the medications, chemotherapy, the regular treatments that a doctor provides. Research study was done to investigate the benefits of CAMP therapy in conjunction with conventional therapy, such as chemo, in a study of women receiving treatment for cervical cancer. So the author was doing a research to see how conventional therapy in conjunction with traditional therapy had effects on women who had cervical cancer. Therefore, if CAMP therapy helps improve the immune system in cervical cancer patients, is CAMP therapy effective in reducing pain and helping, you know, build immune system and healing in patients with other chronic illnesses? Theoretical Framework A randomized clinical trial conveyed the effects of using healing touch, uh, relaxation therapy, as opposed to conventional therapy in 60 women being treated with chemo radiation for cervical cancer. The treatment therapy lasted approximately six weeks. Patients who received healing touch displayed a conservation activity in their natural killer cells versus patients receiving conventional therapy, which is standard care, displayed a substantial decline in NK cells. CAM therapies, such as therapeutic touch, are thought to release blocks in the circulation and restore flow and balance in the entire body, causing opposition to disease leading to a quicker recovery. In order to avoid interference with chemotherapy and the effect of biofield therapy, biofield treatments were done at least 24 hours after chemotherapy treatment. Review, review of the literature. The use of CAMP therapy had a positive outcome amongst HIV AIDS patients, especially with massage therapy, which significantly helped with the stress management. Individuals with musculoskeletal disorders are reported as the highest users CAMP therapy with a high prevalence rate ranging from 23.2 to 94.7%. In another study, which involved 500 children in Australia, showed that 41% used CAMP therapy for chronic or debilitating disease, such as IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, and cerebral palsy. And then another study found the level of pain perception was decreased by 60% and anxiety levels by 24% in patients with cancer pain, and an increase of relaxation by 58% as evidenced by a decrease in heart rate, respiratory rate, and blood pressure. Methodology. My article is a qualitative research, therefore my survey questions are open-ended questions and I avoided using leading questions. I started my survey with general questions to avoid any threatening questions in the beginning in order to build rapport with the subject and maintain consistency throughout the survey. My survey questions reference to various types of CAM treatments in comparison to conventional treatments and any differences between the two. The subject is also asked to why they chose to incorporate CAM treatment with conventional treatment. For my research proposal, I would have a sample size of 30 subjects, males and females, and I would ask the patients from outpatient clinics to participate in this prospective questionnaire-based study. An informed consent was received or would be received. A standard questionnaire would have to be completed by the participant. Any assistance with clarifications would be provided.
data analysis. The research was done, the data analysis was entered into Microsoft Office Excel version 11. Statistical analysis was done by the GraphPad Prism version 4.02 for Windows. A p-value of less than 0.05 was used as a level of significance. Descriptive statistics was used to read the data in reference to the subject's acceptance and attitudes of camp therapy. Applicability to nursing. Uh, such study is significant to nursing because patients diagnosed with chronic illnesses may not be satisfied with conventional therapy alone, or may find the side effects unbearable. Studies such as these can provide patients with information and give them other alternatives for pain and symptoms besides conventional therapy. Patients can include camp therapy in their plan of care. Physicians and healthcare providers' guidance and education is an important factor. Conclusion A number of factors influence patients to use complementary therapy, such as apparent well being and attitude towards camp therapy. Recent studies define a growing use of camp therapy in patients who are diagnosed with chronic illness to treat pain and reduce symptoms. Furthermore, the study and use of camp therapy should be studied further and considered in the plan of care. Research proposes that providers and other healthcare professionals have changed their perspectives and have a positive attitude towards certain alternative therapies. A survey amongst physicians found a mean referral to CAM therapy from 4 to 43 percent. The highest referral was for acupuncture, with the lowest for herbal treatment. Florence Nightingale once wrote, Nursing is putting the patient in the best condition for nature to act upon him. Nurturing, caring, and healing have always been the principle of nursing. Healing is a practice of returning the balance of the mind and body. And this, these are my references. Thank you.